Rick Hay got back just in time prior to the opener and a lower body injury came to camp banged up. McLoyne had all sorts of time. There's the deep shot and it's picked off. Intercepted. Matt Elam is there, the former first round pick of the Baltimore Ravens. And that was an easy interception for Elam. Second turnover of the game for the Guardians, who didn't turn it over a single time a week ago. Like taking candy from a baby for the former first round pick, the former Baltimore Raven. Nothing there as McGloin drops back, surveys the field, doesn't like it, throws it late. Easy stuff there from Elam. What does this team need to do on offense to get something going here? We need to change the whole entire game plan at halftime. Okay, what do you need to change about the game plan? What are you, you frustrated know, about? There's just a lot going on right out now. Uh, it's embarrassing for us here as an offense, so a lot of things we want to fix and correct. Thanks. Wow. Change the entire offensive game plan. Guys, I talked to head coach Kevin Gilbride about Matt McGloin's comments saying that the play calling is an issue. And I said, Coach, in all my years of covering football, I've never heard a quarterback say that. And he says, Well, that makes two of us. I need to go talk to him and figure out what the problem is because he needs to play better. Bit of a low snap again. McGloin intercepted. He's picked off down the sideline. Jameer Thurman to the house. Touchdown. Pick six for the D.C. defenders. They got one a week ago, and they've got one in week two as well. Defenders score on defense. Matt continued pressure issues up front. What led to that interception? As Poor decision by me. I just got to learn to take the sack, though. What do you do with the rest of your teammates to get yourself in rhythm, get your confidence back? Got to keep playing. You know, keep pushing forward, keep focusing on, on the game plan and the plays that are calling, trying to execute those. Thank you, Matt. A lot of self-inflicted wounds here for New York. Not your day at all. Uh, in, in terms of going forward here, what adjustments do you want to make for your play? Uh, well, I think we need to make a lot of adjustments, make a lot of changes. Uh, just, I mean, to be honest with you, this is probably the worst, one of the worst games I've ever been a part of, you know, offensively. Uh, so uh, it's back to the drawing board, back to square one. I mean, when you win like we did a week ago, it hides a lot of your problems. And, you know, when you play a good team like, like D.C. today, you, you can get ex exposed very quickly like we did. You say there's some issues going on. What, are, what stands out to you right now in terms of how this play calling is going? Yeah, I mean, you know, so there's a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors. You know, I think we need to clean that up. Communication especially is one. Um, and it showed today, just at no point in time that I think we were comfortable out there, at no point in time that I think we were in a position to try to be successful. So and it's, I think it was pretty easy to see. Did I feel like we were going to be successful out there? No point in time did I feel comfortable. Worst game I've ever been a part of. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.